I think at the beginning was from inside. And the when contemporary art started in China from late 1970s, 1980s was from inside. Then gradually became global phenomena. Many artists went to other country. So right now it's coming back and forth, back and forth, become part of the international contemporary art. So right now it's both inside and outside. I feel over the past 30 years, and this art has become increasingly mature, and the artists have become older and more experienced, and Chinese art, contemporary art, has also joined international exhibitions, important exhibitions, and the markets. So on all different levels, this art, we can say now, is very mature compared with 30 years ago. That was just a beginning. Uh, I feel now, at this time, Beijing has the most artists. Uh, because in Beijing, these uh, artists from different places, different provinces, they find Beijing a place uh, they feel more uh, livable and people use the same kind of uh, dialect. It's a Beijing Hua. Basically, everybody can use this language, so they feel more comfortable. But your other city, Shanghai is important center, Guangzhou is important center, Sichuan. But uh, this city has a strong local dialects, so they have uh, fewer artists from other places. So by China now, there are so many centers, many centers for contemporary Chinese artists. But Beijing is definitely has the most people. But still, we say contemporary Chinese art artists, we should also include people who live outside China. So they are still seeing themselves as a contemporary Chinese artists, but they live in Europe, live in America, Japan, and other countries. They still keep close ties with China and Chinese artists. So it's both about China, about important city, also in this global space.